A detailed study of the history of the Order of the Arrow would reveal that it's an organization made up of incredible people. Over one million have been members and have impacted the world by bringing the values of brotherhood, cheerfulness, and service to life. To them, the Scout Oath and Law are more than words you memorize. They are words you live by. The Order of the Arrow began in 1915 at a scout camp. Irna Goodman was the camp director and Carol A. Edson was his assistant. Together they developed a program whose purpose was to recognize those scouts who best lived up to the Scout Oath and Law. They could have never imagined that the program they started would grow beyond the shores of the Delaware River. Dr. Goodman recognized the Order as a living organization. He expected it to grow and develop. He knew that for the Order to be successful, each lodge must bring it to life through the achievements and leadership of its members. Those members who embrace the spirit of achievement, as described by Goodman and Edson, are recognized with the Founders Award. Their achievements have shaped the Order on a local level. Committees from Massachusetts and Anapasma Lodges met jointly in 2015. As Pentecook Lodge dawned, four Aramen were selected, who not only distinguished themselves in their predecessor lodges, but also provided the energy and vision that created Pentecook. At this historical moment, they can clearly be recognized as founders who are creating the future for us all. He is the chief of one heart and mind. Matt McCarthy's distinguished service as an airman from Massachusetts Lodge is significant. His enthusiasm for the order and his advocacy for tradition has clearly illuminated his service. He has been the face of Massachusetts Lodge and the Boston Minuteman Council. Matt has served in a variety of positions in the order, most notably serving as the chief. Matt developed and promoted fellowship activities and programs that put emphasis on membership involvement. Making the order a fun experience is clearly important to him. He has served with distinction as a member of the TL Store camp staff. On a section level, he led the 2015 section Lodge Excellence Summit as its chairman, and he is currently the Section NE1 chief. In the last year, Matt was the principal youth leader from Massachusetts Lodge involved in the merger discussions. He focused much of the time editing Lodge bylaws. True to form, he worked to preserve the best of Massachusetts and assuring that the new lodge would be fun. He is a mountainous leader. Paul Trubiano is firmly an Araman who wholeheartedly loves the woods and camping. It was in the woods and in the mountains that Paul learned and developed his leadership skills. His footprints can be found all over New England scout camps. Paul is always cheerful in spirit and always willing to give of himself to aid and benefit others. For two years, Paul served as the ceremonial chairman of his lodge. Since 2011, Paul has worked summers and weekends at four scout camps, Camp Sayre, Massasoit, Norse, and Winoxit. They have all benefited from his talent and his leadership. In 2015, he became lodge chief of Massachusetts Lodge. He worked closely with his counterparts in Nana Pashmet to assure a smooth and consistent transition towards the development of the new lodge. Today, Paul serves as the first communication sachem for Pentecost Lodge. Already, the lodge is setting new standards in organizational communications that include shows, websites, and social media. He sets ablaze. The depth and length of service as an airman by Robert McLaughlin is overwhelming. Clearly, he embraces the Nanapashma tradition that good is never good enough. From his days as Lodge Service Chairman, through many seasons on Watutka's staff, Rob's contributions to preserving and expanding the culture of camping tells only part of the story how he keeps the spirit alive. A highly intelligent and gifted leader, Rob's skills were put to the test when he became Chief of Nanapassment Lodge. Always focused on the positive, he saw the need for change and he enthusiastically met the challenges presented by the merger and the creation of the Spirit of Adventure Council. To him, the merger was not about maintaining traditions of any one lodge. Rather, he was focused on creating a greater lodge. Rob was the principal author of the Pentecook Lodge bylaws and worked with Araman from both Massachusetts and Manapashment, as well as other lodges nationally to create a new organization. 
goal was to build a brighter fire and create a lodge that was bigger, bolder, louder, and better than any that had come before it. He gathered the wood and set it ablaze. He has the courage to climb. Justin St. Louis is a force to be reckoned with. In his first year in the Order of the Arrow, he led what was then the largest Nanopassman contingent to the National Order of the Arrow Conference. Three years later, he attended NOAC as Lodge Chief with the largest contingent of all time. In Justin's service to his lodge, he held many positions, including Lodge Induction Sachem. But he became known for his service as Sachem of the Nanopassman Lodge Communications Enterprise. The communication skills that Justin developed as a member of the Lodge are incredible. A gifted graphic artist, his talents have been used on a local, section, and national level. His organizational skills, his vision, and passion, combined with his energy, sets him apart. As powerful as was his experience in the Order, he is squarely focused on making it more significant for our newest youth members. Fittingly, as the first chief of Pentecook Lodge, Justin St. Louis will set a standard for all those who will follow. Never satisfied or complacent, he helped create the future and inspires us all to move forward as one.